This is Dylan Lucy, Air Gunner Bro, coming on here with a review and testing out one of my new cameras to see how it goes on YouTube. And it actually gives me a view on how the filming is going versus using my cell phone when I can't see the filming. So, I'll try to give that a shot, see if it turns out any better. Alright, here's uh, one of the, f this is of the UHC Spring 1911. Going to show you some features, some upgrades I've made to it, and uh, how it breaks down. Alright. You got your open port here as one feature that a lot of people are probably like in something. This is the first time I've seen it in a spring gun. You got your grip safety, normal safety, it's only on the left side of the gun. You got metal trigger, magazine release, nice secure, nice great feel weight to it. You got your standard spring form of iron sights. Got okay grip panels, it's got a little uh, lanyard hole here. That'll be about it on the uh, standout features on it. Alright, then you got what would be your slide catch here. It doesn't function as a slide catch, it functions as actually holding the slide in place. You got this little hole you'll see here. This little uh, little back spot, you just punch that out. And then just slide the catch forward or it comes right off. Slide the, uh, yeah, slide forward. Alright, this is to give you an in view. It's fixed hop up. It's designed for point twelve with its regular uh, performance level. What I did to upgrade upgrade it, or in a way, I actually extended this spring just enough to where it creates just a little bit of resistance on this little piece here. And that actually gives me more feet per second, and I can effectively use point twos with it. Uh, it probably will wear in the gun a lot easier and everything like that, but I can use point twos, which are more accurate, and the point twos line up right to the site. And uh, yeah, it gives you a little bit of view in there. I don't want to actually take apart the whole guts. Oh, what the heck, I'll do it anyway. It's not really that hard, usually. If I can separate the front part from the back, I'll be fine. Alright. There's your piston. What I did also in there is I put silicone oil on the back of the piston, as well as some petroleum jelly around certain other parts. And I wound up putting in petroleum rounds through it, which isn't very smart, so I took a Q tip and dried that out. Okay. Then you got your guide spring. Actually creates resistance as well, allows the piece to return somewhat. And, uh, you got your regular form here. This did break once and has been crazy glued since. The reason why it broke is because I used it uh, trying to teach my sister how to basically disarm someone with a pistol. So uh, it uh, hit the ground a few times and after a little while it broke there. Brother crazy glued it. CA. Cryo Accurate or whatever the heck you want to call it. Right, I'm going to just reassemble it. Alright, that's that whole part's reassembled. I haven't had the need, nor does I think anything up here on this breakdown. This would be your lower receiver end. As most 1911s, it has a good feel to it.
And there it is, it's back together. All ready to function, do whatever. So, uh, basically my thoughts on it, it's the best spring gun I've owned. Per se, I'd rather own a uh, blowback 1911 rail system like the uh, KW, uh, KJW uh, High Kappa Accelerator one. It's race ready, whatever. Seems like a rather nice one. It's a rail system on it. Uh, about 300 feet per second. I don't know the feet per second on the point twos, but it can shoot without an issue accurately and still have a nice amount of kinetic energy up to about 20, 30 feet. I'll give you an accuracy example. Let's hope I uh, hit it. It's a rather small target. You'll see that foam cup right there. It'll be sitting just behind the computer. And there's the cup. Yeah, a nice shot right on the rim behind the computer that makes it almost about 10 feet. And it lined up really nice with the sights. That shot was like right on, right on the spot. So, uh, yeah. There's a little bit of a review, things like that. But uh, it follows the sights, line up nicely with the point two setup modification. And it's a lot more accurate with point twos. It doesn't flare up as much as you usually get with your spring guns running point twelves. Uh, it's basically right on the spot, which is <laughs> pretty good when you're relying on one shot to take out your opponent. So, uh, yeah, that's mostly the way it is with springs. But a lot of people love 1911s. I know I do. And this is one of the reasons why I got it. And uh, it's not that hard to modify and uh, increase the feet per second most likely decrease uh, its lifespan but uh, yeah, just to give you a nice little view of it your mag right here I'd say you should, probably shouldn't load it any more than 15-18 rounds but it's supposed to be able to hold I believe about 22 uh, it's got to hop up designed for point twelves until you increase the resistance and length on the spring then it'll be completely and utterly, utterly inaccurate even though it isn't really on the spot on point twelves anyways uh, when you first get it so it shoots a little high and then fades out to the spot from about 60 70 feet uh, so that would be my view my thoughts on the UHC spring 1911 it's a nice little spring pistol it doesn't cost much uh, you get it see how you like 1911s before you get the big hundred dollar thing Personally, as far as I'm concerned, 1911s are better than any other type of pistol because they have history to them. They're uh, over 100 years old, basically, in their design, most of them. And uh, I like guns that have history to them to actually like and favor the gun. I don't want something that's new, like a Glock. I could care less about a Glock. They're pieces of plastic, they got no history to them, and they're too much gang related as far as I'm concerned. Too many people use them for that. I know cops do use them, but they're too much, heck, they're in rap music. <laughs> Don't much care for that. Alright, well, take care y'all. View, rate, subscribe. Ah, air gunner bro. Don't mostly. Take care y'all. Bye.